has number two. Uh, in Philadelphia, uh, they probably, they may still have number one share with Acme because they have so, so many stores, uh, at, uh, Albertsons. And number two is probably Aho with their giant stores. And the Acme prices are just off the charts. I mean, they're higher than, uh, Aho. And down here in D.C., the Safeway prices are off the charts. They've given up on price at Albertsons. And they've got this huge debt. And I don't know if you saw, they tried to merge with uh, Rite Aid to go public. And the Rite Aid investors shot that down. So they're in trouble. And And they can't take prices. I'm sorry? Could that be a positive for Aho temporarily? Yeah, it's actually helping I'll hold out a little bit because there's probably uh, some customers because Albertson's prices are even higher drifting over to Aho. As Aho customers drift to uh, Wegmans and Walmart and Whole Foods, they're probably getting some drift from these uh, Albertson's chains that are declining pretty rapidly, and that could provide them a temporary boost. Now, if they eventually crack and start, that would be a uh, benefit to uh, them as well. Mm -hmm. So if you kind of think about what Aho can say here near term, um, what would be kind of, I guess if, they will have to raise capex, but I mean, I guess they will do, they will raise it enough just to like not scare shareholders. I mean, that's your sense. I mean, when they have a capital markets day. Uh, but then reality is it has to go up to like three, three percent at least of their sales. And then what do you think their margins should be like in the U.S.? I mean, now they're like at four. What, what, what do you think is kind of real margin that they should be at? Well, the overall margins in the U.S. for retailers have dropped pretty significantly over the last three or four years. You know, Whole Foods uh, four years ago was at eight. And by the time they sold to Amazon, they were at 5.5. You know, you look at uh, Kroger, they've gone from three and a half to below two. Most of your regional retailers who are very competitive, like Wegmans, are somewhere between two and three. So if you look at the retailers out there that are winning, uh, their operating margins are probably in the 3% area. But they, at Aho, they've always been afraid to go below four because they feel like that sends a message to the marketplace they're in trouble. When Food Line was standalone about six or seven years ago, when they dropped down into three, their stock mm. took a real battering. So mm. I think they're going to try to keep their – I think uh, they're afraid to send lower than a 4% margin to the marketplace, uh, even though they need to have lower than a 4% margin. I think they're just going to keep letting their prices drift up, hope nobody notices, and not talk much about the traffic, and hope nobody notices. And uh, they'll bring their investors into these stores that they've really done up well. They'll do the dog and pony show. They'll say, this is what all our stores are going to look like, and Mm -hmm. hope nobody notices, and uh, try to live another quarter. And I think they'll try, probably try to stay uh, with that 4% margin. They are getting some inflation right now. And we're going to see more inflation in the future, uh, no question about it. So they're probably going to try to ride the inflation. But then if Walmart and Wegmans and Kroger don't ride the inflation, the price gap's going to get even bigger. But I think they're going to try to hide behind that. They're going to try to hide behind the inflation keep the margin where it's at, uh, kind of do uh, a mirage with these new stores uh, in front of the investors and say, hey, we're going to get better. We're going to draw traffic with these stores. These stores that we've remodeled are up you know, 15% in sales, and we're not going to tell you we've spent you know, uh, $10 million, not 10, $5 million on advertising and promotion that we're spreading out across the rest of the company to make these stores look better than they really are. And it's going to continue to be a game of smoke and mirrors at Mm Aho. That's how they operate. Makes sense. sense. And and they've been able to sell 